happy people welcome back to my channel today i'm bringing you all a bath and body works empties i know it's been a while since i have done an empties video i typically try to do them once every other month but time slipped away from me and i just ran out of time doing it on my regular schedule so that means i have a ton a ton of empties to share with you all i have a lot of items in here so i'm just going to go ahead and hop right on in and show you what I've been working on, what I've used up, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I normally like to keep everything organized, but um, it's in this little bin here. So I'm gonna just kind of pull items out randomly and show you what I've used up. So um, the first item I have here is actually an item that my hubby used up. It's the Whitewater Rush, and it's the two-in-one hair and body wash for men. This particular item took a really long time for my husband to use up. I feel like I featured this like in the summer of last year um in like one of my project use it up videos and he's just now getting done with it and is now on to a new body wash and so he definitely does not go through body washes as quickly as i do the scent notes on here is fresh white water aromatic bergamot and white cedar um i will say that i definitely enjoyed every time my husband used this scent in the shower yeah it just smelled like a men's cologne like like an aquatic man's cologne that's how i would describe this scent but yeah i really like it a lot i enjoyed him using it every time he came to bed after using this he smelled so so good like last night after he used it after he took his bath i was like let's cuddle <laughs> so yeah i really like this scent white water rush um i definitely get it again from my hubby um but it takes him a while to go through shower gel so i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing but he got through this one the next item i have here is watermelon lemonade so this is a shower gel that i went through um the scent notes on this one is fresh watermelon juice mixed with frozen lemon sprinkled with spun sugar so this was a delightful surprise to me i didn't actually think that i was going to enjoy this this scent that, as much as i did but i actually really liked it a lot it really just smells like a fresh watermelon on a nice summer day. Um, I used this up towards the end. Uh, well, I think I used this up during the fall. And I actually, I really like this scent a lot. Um, and I believe that I also used up the um, lotion. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. And so I also used up the lotion in this scent as well. So these two paired together very nicely had me walking around smelling really nice, really fresh, like some nice freshly cut watermelons so yeah really enjoyed this scent um so much so that i actually i actually think i used this up in i did okay so i also used this up in the candle form like oh my goodness like so i actually really really enjoyed this scent then um so yeah and for the body care it was really really nice um i felt like the lotion it was somewhat hydrating but not like super duper hydrating the shower gel um had really good lather in the shower so i definitely enjoyed this in the body care and i enjoyed it even more in the candle form so that's what the candle looks like um this is how it burned down that last wick right there it kind of went out a little bit towards the end so the last burn of it wasn't that smooth but overall Oh, this smells so, so good. You know, it smells just like the body care, but kind of in a more, I guess, candle form. I don't really know how to describe it, but um, the scent notes on this one, it says watermelon ice, uh, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. And I think it's a little bit different. Actually, it is different because this one has frozen lemon and sp sprinkled with spun sugar so that one actually is a little bit more sweet and i think that meyer lemon has a little bit more tartness to it in the candle form yeah it's like a watermelon with like a little tartness to it so i think that's what it is it doesn't have the ice sugar in it so yeah i really enjoyed this candle as well and i actually think i have a backup of this i liked it that much i was really shocked about this scent i didn't think i would like it as much as i did but definitely thoroughly enjoyed it happy to have um, a backup of it i think i also too have a, a ultra shade uh body cream in the watermelon lemonade scent so i'll be using that probably next summer or actually this upcoming summer the next item i have here is endless weekend this is a shower gel got through one of these scent notes on this is summer fresh summer mandarin sunkissed magnolia and raspberry lychee sorbet uh it says this fragrance is finished with a breeze of blue coconut water and vanilla sandalwood yeah this i really enjoyed this scent this scent right here smells like mm, it smells like a last minute vacation <laughs> 
Does that make sense? Like, it smells like a nice last minute vacation. Like, you just kind of threw all your items together inside a bag and you just kind of like rushed out to just go and enjoy yourself for like a nice like little weekend getaway. Oh, I guess that's why Endless Weekend, that's the name. Okay. For, yeah, so I think this is what that smells like. Really good scent. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I would repurchase this if I had the opportunity to. The next item I used up is Pink Cashmere. I actually really enjoyed this scent. That's what the packaging looks like. The scent notes on this one is Pink Jasmine Petals, Creamy Sandalwood, White Amber, and Cashmere Musk. This had really good lather in the shower. And it smells so good. I mean, it just smells like a nice perfume. Hmm. What am I picking up? I think the cashmere and the amber are the two big scents that I'm picking up from this. Yeah, and it smells so good. It just smells like a nice, sophisticated woman. So, yeah, definitely like this scent. I would definitely repurchase it. Um, next scent I have here is Dark Kiss. I went through a lot of shower gels, y'all. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. So, the next scent here is Dark Kiss. Y'all already know I love this scent. It is, uh, scent notes on it is black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot, incense, uh, dark vanilla bean, and plum musk. Ah. If y'all really want like a nice, deep, seductive scent, Dark Kiss is the way to go. I actually really, really enjoyed this scent. I actually paired it along with, yeah, the Ultra Shea Body Cream. And these two together were absolutely heavenly. I'm talking Last in Power was like all day long. If I put it on in the morning, I smelled it when I was trying to go to bed at night. Like this scent right here is a really good bang for your buck, honestly. The lather of the uh, shower gel was really good. And that scent smelled really nice. And then the uh, Ultra Shea Body Cream. It has the exact same scent notes on it. Um, let me show you here. I cleaned this bad boy out. I mean, it's like absolutely empty. I like to really use my products all the way down to the very, very end. Oh, and it just smells so good. It was very moisturizing, which I was happy about. And then the scent on it was just like really, really good. Like it lasted all day. So I think even if I had had the fine fragrance mist along with these two items, like that scent would have been like super duper bomb like so yeah i really enjoyed dark kiss if you all have not tried it you need to because that's how you get your grown and sexy on okay next item i have here is um actually a uh, gentle foaming hand soap it's in vanilla bean noel i actually just finished this one um this one was in my bathroom scent notes on it is a uh, merry and bright blend of fresh vanilla bean warm caramel and sugar cookies um this scent um it was cool as the hand soap. You all saw in my review of the Vanilla Bean Noel that um, I really just kind of got played out on the scent. Like a little of it goes a long way. But I think as the hand soap, it actually was quite nice. Um, I enjoyed having it on my hands and it having and it being like a short term scent for me. So this in small doses is really nice. But anything more than that, not a big fan of. And I'm also super excited to have this packaging because I mainly bought this simply for the pump. So I'm actually going to peel this sticker off after this um, after this video. And I'm going to go ahead and make my own gentle foaming hand soap with some of the shower gels I currently have in my shower. So I'm super excited to just be able to make my own foaming hand soaps. And I can do that courtesy of this awesome container. The next item I have here is Midnight Pomegranate. Um, the key notes on this scent is red, ruby red pomegranate, sparkling cassis, white jasmine, blackberry spice, and patchouli. This scent was really good. However, the spice in this scent was so strong, I actually could not bear to continue using it as a, as a shower gel. So I actually ended up just using this as a hand soap and I really liked it as a hand soap. This on my hands, it kind of like, like dispersed the scent out enough as to where it didn't feel so concentrated as it felt when I was using it in the shower. So definitely like using this as a hand soap. If you all haven't used it in that way, I would recommend it. The next item that I have here is, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, okay. So this is my very first um, uh, body scrub that I use from Bath and Body Works and it's the sand and sea salt body scrub um this is what the packaging looks like you all can see i cleared it out i'm talking i emptied it out i put water in it to make sure i got every last little grand of sand out of there because i like to get my money's worth the scent notes on this is clear blue water sparkling mandarin water lily and ocean driftwood it has coconut oil dead sea salt and polynesian sand definitely thoroughly enjoyed this sand oh yeah i definitely thoroughly enjoyed this sand and sea salt scrub 
if I ever see any more sand and sea salt scrubs, especially during the 75% off SAS sale, I'm definitely getting them without hesitation. Like, I really enjoyed this. I like the fact that it was in this type of container. It made it really easy and convenient for me to use when I was in the shower. I could just open it up, pour it in my hand, and just, you know, scrub myself down. I always felt clean and refreshed afterwards. So, yeah, if you all haven't tried any of the sand and sea salt scrubs from Bath & Body Works, highly recommend. I really, really like this a lot. It's a nice, deep exfoliating. Next items I have here doo -doo -doo -doo, is Vanilla Bean Noel Shower Gel. So, this I actually used up. Again, I didn't mind it so much in the shower shower but I also used it in combination with a lotion and that really just made me kind of over this scent but the scent notes on it is fresh vanilla bean warm caramel sugar cookies whipped cream and snow kissed musk so I mean it's a nice vanilla scent I think I've I've said my fair share about vanilla bean noel so yeah this is um I used up a shower gel of vanilla bean noel I also this is a foaming hand soap. This actually still has a lot of products still left in it, but unfortunately I'm going to go ahead and count it as an empty. I think I maybe have about this much left in here, but sadly enough, the pump does not want to work and I cannot get the item out. Who knows? I might not toss it in the trash and still keep it and try to use it, but it's just so much effort and so much, um, it takes too much effort for me to use this. And I like the foaming hand soaps because they're quick and easy and supposed to be fun to use. And this does not do it for me. So unfortunately with this vanilla bean Noel, I'm going to probably end up decluttering it. Um, but I wanted to feature it in this empties because I don't think I'm going to put spend too much effort on this. Next I have the Paris Amour. I actually really thoroughly enjoyed this scent. Oh, it smells so good. Such a grown woman scent. Uh, scent notes on it is, let's see, French tulips, apple blossoms, sparkling pink champagne, touched with sandalwood and creamy musk. It's a nice perfume that has like that hint of musk at the end of it. So that is the Paris Amour and this was the body lotion that I used up. I also got through, this was something I actually picked up at a yard sale. It's Twilight Woods. It's the body butter. Um, I think it had already turned bad. As you guys can see, this, pa this um, packaging is ancient. Um, but the scent notes on it is... Okay, so they actually don't have the scent notes on this, but... It smells really good. Um, I ended up just using, breaking it up and using it inside of a bubble bath. So I have one other one like this that I got from a yard sale. I probably won't purchase any more Bath & Body Works products that way in the future. But I definitely wanted to just kind of try this out and see how it was. So I got through a Twilight Woods. Next item I have here is the Lemon Pomegranate Cream uh, uh, Fine Fragrance Mist. This was the only Fine Fragrance Mist that I went through. Let's see if there's anything left. Nope. But I really like this scent. It smells like a nice, just like creamy, icy lemon scent. And I really like the scent in general. But the downfall about this scent was that it did not last at all whatsoever. Like, just as soon as I put it on, it pretty much was off my skin. So this isn't something that I probably would repurchase. However, I did really thoroughly enjoy that lemon scent during the summertime. The next item I have here is the mini vanilla bean Noel uh, body lotion. So this was a lotion I used in conjunction with that uh, shower gel. Again, you know, a little bit goes a long way for this one. In tiny doses, this is how I probably will continue to use vanilla bean Noel if I decided to repurchase it. But Probably not, not one of my favorite scents. I also used up a pink cashmere mini uh, lotion. This scent again was very nice. Definitely really enjoyed it. I do have another foaming, uh, antibacterial foaming mousse and this is in the Mango Mai Tai. Really enjoyed using this scent. It was a nice fresh mango scent. Um, really liked it. It the foam, the pump never went bad. It foamed out really nicely. Um, definitely will repurchase this if I saw it again. Next, I have a few candles that I went through, y'all. This is my all-time favorite fall candle, and this is sweater weather. So that's what the packaging looks like. And this is how this one burned down. Again, it burned down pretty nicely, except for this one, which was a little bit wonky. Um, scent notes on it is fresh sage, Jupiter berry, aromatic eucalyptus, and fresh woods. Oh, absolutely love sweater weather. It just feels like a nice cozy fall day. So if you all haven't tried this candle, I would definitely recommend. Definitely would repurchase it. I actually think I have two backups of this item. The other candle that I used up was, actually it was a Father's Day candle, so I took the label off of it, but it's mahogany teak wood, and that's why it burned. At the end, like I said, it burned a little bit wonky. It took me a while to go through this one. I just was in a phase where I wasn't really into burning candles as much, but oh, it smells really, really good. Uh, scent notes on it is handsome mahogany, sounds right, black teak wood, 
dark oak and aromatic lavender. This scent is really, really nice. Yeah, if you all, everybody knows mahogany teakwood is a really nice scent. So yeah, I got through a candle. I also got through a couple of pocket backs here. I got through um, Black Cherry Merlot. Really enjoyed using this as a pocket back. Um, so I definitely will purchase that. The next one I went through is Honolulu Sun. I had this in my office. Definitely enjoyed using that as well. Fresh coconutty scent. And then the last one here is Pineapple Colada. This one was probably my favorite of the three. No, actually it wasn't. Black Cherry Merlot was my favorite. And then this one was my second favorite. Really nice scent here. Nice fresh pineapple scent. And then the last items that I have here are all... Oh, actually I went through a calming clay mask from Bath & Body Works. That's what that looks like. Um, this was really nice. It had my skin feeling, feeling really nice, hydrated. The last couple of items I have here are all these little um, wallflowers. These are actually kind of hard to keep up with. So I have an evergreen wallflower, which smells like um, a fresh Christmas tree. I had flannel, which smelled like a nice grown man. It smelled really, really good. I have a cr frosted cranberry. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite wallflowers. It has really good throw. Actually, all the ones I've mentioned so far had really good throw. Blue Ocean Waves was okay. The throw on it wasn't that great, but, you know, I went through it. Winter Candy Apple, this song, this scent was really, really strong. Throw was really great. Thoroughly enjoyed that. And then the last one, I had another Blue Ocean Waves that I went through. So yeah, these are all the items that I used up over the last couple of months. I hope you all enjoyed this empties video. Definitely let me know what some of your favorite items were that I used up during this particular video. Um, as always, you all leave some love in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.